mtihani huitwa mtihani wa maisha. Sasa omba ni bora ukafeli mtihani wa chuo lakini usifeli mtihani wa maisha. Unajua kuona mtu ana masters afu is very frustrated yuko mtaani hana kazi. Have you seen this gentleman? Ni ngumu. Una masters alafu naomba nauli ya kwenda posta inatia hasira kidogo. So that was my philosophy that life is more than academics and therefore what it, it did to me I had to develop myself to go for extracurricular activities so I was doing small businesses while I was still a student but also I was working somewhere in terms of volunteering now most of you when you are called somewhere to work you ask how much would they pay me don't they know that I'm an accountant from University of Dar es Salaam, not just any university, from University of Dar es Salaam. Eh? I'm yet to get my CPA. No, <laughs> Robert Kiyosaki, my financial mentor, he told me, when you are young, don't walk to earn, but when you are young, walk to learn. Uh, Robert Greens, the author of uh, 48 Laws of Power, uh, The Mastery, uh, The Power of Seduction, he says, in order for you to become powerful in your industry to build up your brand you, there is this uh, apprenticeship that you need to go through so you need to volunteer yourself somewhere work learn okay the same advice was given by jack ma the chinese billionaire the founder of alibaba he is recommending the same thing so i did the the volunteering thing at one of the fm station and from there i never knew that i was building my brand i never knew that so I was, after the lectures, some of the lectures I was missing them actually. I was going to Miko Cheni at that particular time. There was a FM station called uh, Prince Power FM. Do you know this FM station? It still exists, yeah? But back in that time, it was the FM station of Christians. So it was very strong. So I would go there, and they gave me a trust to be in the studio to observe what they are doing. And then quickly, I mastered on how to play with those faders and everything. To my surprise, I became a radio presenter. Now, from there, that's where the brand began to be built. So, my name is Anton Vanda. Hey, I'm going to be here to give you all the best that you can do. Please, if you're going to talk of Mjini, Foleni, Nanini, tune in right now and Mwambia Jirani yako. Let's rock. I sequenda school of journalism. So, that word, Luvanda, ikanza kujengeka kwenye masikiu ya binadam. And over a sudden, it became a brand. And... At the same time, now at that particular time, I was also working. Nikuwa na soma hapa, naenda kule. Sasa nilipo maliza chuo, I had to namda kutosha sasa, sindio? Kwa hiyo nika jiongeza, nika tafuta kazi at Diamond Trust Bank. And then after working with that bank, I still had developed a new talent ya kuongea mbeleza watu. And that was being an AMC. So when I go to the wedding, I say, are you the... The one that we are hearing on radio, I say, yes, yes, this is me. So, oh, we want you also for another wedding. So, little by little, the name grew. And because I was very obsessed with the, with the excellency, excellence is part of me. Ex I dream about excellency. I am so obsessed. I have, I eat, I breathe excellency. So, in everything that I do, I want to be perfect. I want to be excellent. So, even in my job that I was doing, some people say, MC ni msema chochote. For me, it was no. MC is a professional public speaker. So I have to deploy all the essence of being professional public speaker. What are the do's and don'ts? Now, itaka ni walete yo CD, how to become a best wedding MC. Unfortunately, kijangwa me how, but you can still order, and it can help you. Wale mbomata ku develop that career. So I deployed all the professionalism. Not only in public speaking, but also in the area of business. Because I was a... Nilifanya kazi Stanbik, then if Diamond Trust, then Nikahenda Stanbik. So I borrowed all the aspects of professionalism from these organizations. And then, that brand grew so big. And my brand was simple. I'm a man of standards, I'm a man of excellency, and I'm going to perform that. And whenever you meet me, you will feel that excellency. 
you will feel this guy knows what he do, he's doing. So, ikanisaidia sana over a period of time, nikatengeneza jina kubwa sana. Now, this is what happens. When you successfully build up a brand, money will follow you. I know most people, especially young people, when you start up a project, you are looking for this high profile thing that you can do. But let me tell you, once you brand yourself so well, the man will follow you. There's a moment now, other people are calling me. They adjust their wedding timetable in order to suit my timetable. So, <laughs> oh yeah. So they call me, Lavanda, are you available on 10th June? I say, no, I'm not available. On 9th, no. On 8th, I know the humor. No. On 6th, yes. Okay, please book for me that date. So you have to go and adjust the whole timetable because of the brand. And my philosophy has been very simple. A client comes to me. He says, why do you charge the price you're charging? I say, I'm a comprehensive package. You know comprehensive insurance? There's a third party insurance package and there's a comprehensive insurance package. Ukikata third party, gari kipata ajari, hawa kulipi. Ingawa ni cheap. Ila ukikata comprehensive, ambo ni quite expensive, gari kipata ajari, wana kulipa, wana kupa gari mpia. Kono ambia, your price no yona hapo, it's not expensive, it's just comprehensive. And I'm so proud to say, I'm 100%, my price is 100% above the market price. It's not 50% or 20%, it's 100%. So if normal MC is paid 500,000, I'm paid how much? 1 million. Now, I'm not worrying about the price. The issue is, can you deliver? Let me give you a simple example. What kind of the computer is this? Dell. If we put Dell and Apple, the same capacity probably, the same functionality, Apple is there. It is gonna Apple ikauzo dollar if moja miatano, Dell ikauzoa dollar miatatu au mianne. So which means one Dell is equivalent to five. I mean, one, one, one apple is equivalent to five dailies. But once you buy that apple, you can feel the excellency. Wangapi matumia iPhone ever? Wachache? Ah, uni wachache. Ntasa ni staff, no, na wenyewe. You see? Hata mikoni na pungua, sindio? Ntasa. Once you use apple products, you will feel... And you say, pamoja na kwamba ni melipa your price, but I'm comfortable. So make sure when you build up a brand, it should be trustworthy. A brand should be delivering it on its promises. Usi chaka Now, because my time is very brief, to bring, level, to bring the level of branding to your level, start doing what you do or you want to become right now. Don't wait until you have finished the university. Start right now. Okay. To see what you Fadila. Wangapi wanasema ni mependeza? Aha. Ni wale wachoyo tu kubunyosha mikono, sindio? But you know, sijapendeza kwa accident. Mimi tangu nikiwa chuo hapa, nipukua mwaka wa kwanza. Nilikuwa na pendeza paka tuwa kanajua miniko master's degree. Nasoma master's. Shikamo mwalimu, shikamo lecture, wakija festia. Wengine na wenzangu walikuwa navaa melegezo, wanavaa matishet, mingini machafu. Lakini mimi ya said no, nikuwa na katai kamoja, tukana nitu wakauka nikuvai. Ndi wako wako navaa nako kila siku. Lakini, I never knew that was part of my brand. So nilivu ingia kwenye UMC, I did the same concept. If you visit my page right now on MC Luvanda events, I'm going to write it on you, for, for you. And also Tony Inspirational Talk, I have two websites. Na yon nitamalizia kwenye, kwenye soala kwenye brand. So I started here. Ukienda kwenye sopeji utaona vitu na voviongea. So start from now. Usianze kufaa melegezo wakati unataka kuwa mwana siyasa badai. Itakula kwako. Sasa hivi watu wana TBT, unafamwe? Linavutu watu faili unaletua. Huyu ndiyo mataka agombea udiwani. Huyu? Eh. Dada unasuga suga vitu vya jabu itakula kwako badai. So start now. 
okay? The use of social media, if I have to speak to your language, uh, the use of social media. How do you treat social media? Now, social media right now is very powerful compared to traditional media. Do you know that? It's very powerful. Right now, nyinyi muangalia talifabali kama sisi tulivyokuwa tunaangalia na dada zangu pale. Sasa hivi kwenye talifabali is outdated. Yaani unaenda kwenye talifabali everything is done is completely. You know everything. You don't wait. So, people are obsessed. Sasa hivi kifurushi kikikata unahangaika kweli kweli, sio? Kwa nini? Kwa sababu tuko hapo na Sijajua kama utafiti utafanyika lakini inawezekana asilimia tisina tisa ya Watanzania walioko mijini wanatumia muda mwingi zaidi kwenye social media kuliko kwenye mazingira yoyote. Now we get a challenge at the office I as an employer if I have to compare the productivity of my staff how do I measure if all the time they are behind the computers they pretend they're working but probably they are doing something else. Hello? So how do you use social media? Start branding yourself, brother, if you want to be, what, you, what, you, what, what do you want to become? A hacker. A hacker, professional hacker. Yes, so if, if you want to be a professional hacker, then we have, you have to display that on your social media. So if I want to hire a professional hacker, I should look for you. Sio naingia kwenye page yako na kuta siku na msiba wa babu, sio nani rest in peace, nani he, mafuriko na umepost mafuriko kana kwamba uko uko taasisi ya hali ya hewa, maana sio umepost in hatujui sasa. Hiyo page yani natakiwa nikiangalia picha ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu, I should know exactly what do you do. Hello? Hey, sasa wewe unajiita professional musician. Hatujai kuona clip hata moja ukiimba. Kuna tunaona tu unapost hiyo kina nani hata unaopost hiyo musician how can you brand yourself so make sure you apply all these things that you've been taught today but make sure you do them consistently because according to Robert Greens kwenye kitabu chake cha mastery in order for you to become professional to become a master of the game you need to apply the things that you need to apply for more than 10,000 hours that's where you can become a professional Usifanye tu mara moja 10,000 hours apply and some people have gone to the extreme you need like 20,000 hours of work so if you want to become a hacker my friend practice 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 for 10,000 hours you're going to be a professional hacker and we will know that you're a professional hacker and if i'm looking for a professional hacker i'll have to find you i'll finish with this concept um, dr miles moro once said people are not poor because they're poor no People are poor because nobody is knowing anything about them. And what does it mean? If we mention today Cristiano Ronaldo, what comes to your mind? Football. If we mention, uh, let's say, Diamond Platinums, what comes to your mind? Music. Ask your neighbor. Tukikutaja wewe kitu gani inakuja kwenye akili yetu. Eh? Ni Mungu tu anajua sio? <laughs> so what you need today what you need from today onwards is to develop the competent you. Okay? Develop your brand to the extent that if people if they mention you they know exactly what is that stands for. So today if you mention him Silvanda people delay it quickly. Okay? If you go to my page, for example, TonyInspirationalTalk.com, I mean Tony Inspirational Talk on Instagram, the first picture, the second picture, the third picture, you will know exactly what I'm doing. If you go to my another Instagram page in it MC Luvanda events, the first picture, second picture, third picture, you know exactly what I'm doing. Now on apotaja to Jina Lazima la kwangu kwanza lije kwenye ma industry lazima la kwangu lije ndio yaje ya mengine kuna bwana mmoja anataka kunipiga hadi risasi sasa Luvanda namchukia sana nikamwambia akamuuliza kwa nini sasa kama naongea naye ni rafiki yangu hajui namchukia sana Luvanda akamwambia kwa nini umchukia Luvanda kuna kikao juzi mimi nimeleta proposal yangu laki nane, ye kaika ya kwake ilikuwa juu mara mbili yangu alafu wamemchagua yeye wakati mimi ya kwangu ilikuwa chini price yangu ilikuwa chini the issue is Whenever they mention something related to my industry, their name comes first. Nikijaa mimi, ndio wanafata wao. 
but that, remember, does not come easily. It comes with a 10,000 hours of practice. So you make a lot of mistakes. Utakosea sana. Usiogope kukosea. Sasa najua wasomi mnaogopa kukosea. Kwa sababu dara sana ukikosea suna disco. E, Kwa hiyo mnaogopa ogopa sana kukosea. You want to be perfect all the time. But that does not work in the actual world. Okay? So make sure kukosea. Jirusu kukosea. Kukosea ni sehemu ya kujifunza. And then you become, as unavozidi kukosea, unajifunza zaidi. Kuna utafiti umefanyika, na hindi unamalizia sasa mwenye kwa mwenye. Kuna utafiti umefanyika, kwa mba unapo introduce a new habit, your brain develop a new cell. And the more you practice that new habit, the more the cell in the brain gets stronger to accommodate that new habit. But if you ukiyache your new habit, ile cell inakufa, natural death. So, develop that competency from today onwards, and then, two, three, four years, who knows, you will be one of the very person we are looking for in this industry or in this country. You guys have been awesome. Thank you for listening. From what I've learned and what I've been, we have been taught over here, is most of those ones who have been excelled maybe in aspects of entrepreneurship are the ones who failed a number of times before. How about you? Have you ever failed sometimes before for many times? And what should I do? And how many times should I fail so that I know I'm about to succeed? The founder of IBM once said, was asked, what's the secret to your success? He said, the secret of success is to double the rate of your failing. So, kama ulikuwa na feli marakumi, double that rate, at least 20 times. Now, you remember the famous Thomas Edison, sir? He was asked, why could you continue to persist while you have failed 10,000 10, times? And he said, I have not failed 10,000 times. 10, I've just found 10,000 10, times that didn't work. Okay? So, how much failure should you embrace? as much as possible. Until, and the word until is very powerful. Ni waulizi hapa kina mama na kina dada. Ivi mtoto wako unataka ajaribu marangapi mpaka ataka puanza kutembea. How many times would you love your child to try until he master the art of walking? Eh? Mpaka, sindio? Until ataka potembe, uzu kusema, ah, jamani, umeanguka, eh, mara ya tatu hii sasa. Emu, tulia jamani, usitembe, tena, emu, utaumia. No, mzazi anasema, mtoto wangu mimi, ataanguka, mpaka ataka poeza kutembe. What if we embrace the same spirit? Now, talking about me, I have felt so many times. Now, I'm the managing director of Home of Events Company Limited. But my first company, ilikuwa na ito Editon Event Masters. Ili kufa hivi na yona mikononi. Okay? Na, but you have to learn. You have to learn new things. Uh, this is a secret again. Wangapi mnaangaliaga uh, movies za Jack Chen? Have you ever watched the Jack Chen movies? Do you see at the end of the movie, the way they show you the behind the scene thing? Do you know how many times... Unashanga kuna mara iruka tu piu, ukajua mefanikiwa. Lakini waki kuonisha behind the scene, that guy kumba meruka zaidi ya mara salasini, sindio? Na mejibonda, meumia, naudia tena, naudia tena. So, and, and I want to also conclude by saying, champions are made while no one is watching. Don't forget that. Champions are made while no one is watching. And that is a moment that when you do a lot of mistakes, that's nobody's watching you. But the moment you are on the ring, and people celebrate you as a champion, that is a moment they recognize you as a champion. But the process of you becoming a champion, nobody was watching you. Okay? So please, don't be afraid of making mistakes. Actually, I would recommend embrace making mistakes. Video yangu ya kwanza kutengeneza YouTube, ilikuwa ni majanga. Presentation yangu ya radio siku ya kwanza, wakati naongea radio ni, kuna kijana wangu, roommate alirekodi, chumbani. Yuhi yuko buwe nini? Ilikuwa ni holi, si holi fo hile? Akawa na rekodi, nimerudi kutoka studio, haka sema, I have a surprise for you. 
This is how you were talking on the radio. Mpaka leo sitaki kusikiza kabisa ile cassette. Si unaelewa eh? But 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 if if you are passionate again with the, with the thing that you want, uh, utafika mbali sana. Okay? Again Abraham Lincoln mnafahamu amegombea ame mara ngapi urais wa Marekani? Uh, anaenda anakosa, anaenda anakosa. Kuna video moja nimepost YouTube nikasema kuna watu walikuwa wanacriticize. Ah, hawa chama sijui wenye viti wa chama wanagombea sana wao wa China wengine. Nikamwambia ah, hiyo ni ndoto ya mtu. Mwache tu aendelee kugombea. Anagombea safari anapigwa chini, anagombea anapigwa chini, atakuja msiku mwingine atashika tu. Kwa hiyo don't worry to make mistakes. I think yeah, I'm so clear with that. Thank you. Anyone else? I think every time we speak about branding that we, we take the high class people and I think for our countries most of the of the citizens are, 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 are in the, I mean they're living their, their livelihood are very low. Don't, don't you find that branding is like we are dealing with a very small group of people and you are living behind a very large group of people which could become a very best market for us? Faida ya kuwa chuo ni kuchukua kile unachofundishwa na kukifanya kiwe relevant. Okay? Na tatizo ni kwamba mifano mingi imekuwa documented ni ya wenzetu. Kwa hiyo inawezekana kuna mtu amejibrand vizuri sana lakini huko songwe mbea huko. Hatujai kumuona, hatujai kumsikia. Okay? Lakini unaweza kachukua mifano hata hapa hapa. Take for example Gigi Mane. Eh? <laughs> she has branded herself as a waitwa nini boxing nini sio hiyo? Eh video nini nini mnajua nyenye. So if you mention Gigi Mane, there's a certain picture comes to your mind, isn't it? Na ni kupa mfano wa Diamond Platinums, the way he's branding himself. Now, inawezekana perfume aliyogundua Diamond sasa hivi anayouza, inawezekana haina nguvu kana kama hizo nyingine, lakini utaenda kununua because ukipulizia ile perfume akili yako inafikiria kwamba na mimi nitanukia kama Diamond. Na mimi nitakuwa kama Diamond, isn't it? So again, probably there are so many uh, people who have branded themselves the way they've branded, but we are not aware. But I've tried as much as I can to give you the simple example like me. Okay, the way, and speaking of that, let me give you the name uh, of the pages. MC Luvanda Events. Okay, MC Luvanda Events, that's on Instagram. Actually, it's MC Luvanda underscore events. Now, every word there has a meaning. Don't just throw any word. No, 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 no. Jack Ma anasema, if you want to become successful in a business, you need to have a good name. They ask him, why do your company in Aitwa Alibaba? And then he gave that. So, kila neno hapa lina maana yake. Nafikiri hata gigimane ana maana yake kwa nini jiita gigimane. <laughs> Na ukienda lazima uchunwe, maana kuna mane pale imekuwa involved, sio? Eh. Yeah. Kwa hiyo, now I have two websites again. One is called mcluvana.com. It's purely entertainment. And there is another one in Aitua, Tony Inspirational Talk. It's educational website. The same applies to YouTube channels. I have mcluvana channel, and I have Tony Inspirational Talk channel. Can you share with us top five things you wish you knew when you were out of when you went out of college in 2007? But one priority for me was freedom. Okay? Freedom. Freedom of my time and freedom of my finance. I wanted to be paid I wanted to be paid any time I wanted the money. I wanted when I call money, money responded to me quickly. So the freedom of money or financial freedom, that was my top list. And again, in terms of freedom, freedom of time. So if nataka kuamka ni amki wakati usingizi umeisha, sio kwa sababu ala mwimelia. That was my wish. Na nilipata shida sana. Kwa sababu wakati nimeajiriwa, mimi mzuka wangu wa unakuenda. Ni nafuzidi kuenda, ndivo mzuka nafuzidi kupanda. Nikuwa sina mzuka wa asubui, nikuwa na mzuka wa jioni. Kwa hiyo, wakati mzuka ndio umepanda, banki ndio inafungwa na mbewa nitoke. Na nikawa na onikana ni under performer. Kwa hiyo nipa shida kidogo. Lakini saivi na uhuru wangu mwenye na nashukuru mungu ni meupata. Again, I, I, I wished for 
for for relationship nipate mke mzuri anaelewa sasa mambo maana wewe unaweza unaelewa mambo kipata mke hovyo meli na zama unajua kina mama ndio wanaoendesha nyumba eh e, wanasema behind a successful man there's what a woman so that was my dream now that was a challenge again wanawake wasikizi wote wazuri unaweza kabisa yani ni wazuri wewe ukitaka kujua mwanamke mzuri au mbaya subiri akiwa ameamka baada kabla ya apply makeup kabla ya fanya shot lakini akishaweka wigi na foundation na ile nini na squeeze lips hizo wanazopaka ni nzuri hazibanduki haraka so that was a big challenge and nilikosea vitu vingi sana sana if i had to tell you my story you be very shocked actually so i made a couple of mistakes but i bumped into again be back on the game and then you move on so i've made a lot of mistakes in relationships but i thank god now i'm stable so i have a proper family with one wife uh, and uh, three daughters and one son is coming it's not so mishwa bure size magufuli wasatu fiatu wetu kwa wanne anakuja okay so i'm um, i'm so i'm so delighted for that my wife she's called lilian uh, some of you might know her she's called lilian mwasha she's using her father's name for some reason branding purposes but i wanted to turn her to lilian iluvanda she rejected said so my brand will be lost so i don't know so she's at the terminal nafam clouds fm terminal yes. yeah that's she's my wife yeah so the fourth one is my relationship with god actually my mother i got this philosophy from my mother my mother is so religious and uh, she always gave me all the doctrines of christianity and to become a strong christian so she influenced me a lot they say your gift that you have is a gift from god the way you use it is the give back to god okay the life is a gift god has given you the way you use your life the way you live your life is a gift back to god so that is my philosophy so take care of your life yupo mwenye nayo siju unajua hiyo anaweza kafunga leo sasa ukatoka hapa ndio tukakupoteza ingawa kuna watu wengine wakipotea tutawamisi no make sure when you check out you everybody will missing you okay yeah so those are the four i fail to give you the fifth one because most of the time we spend sana kujiongelea kusimimi i love to share about the principles there so many Hi, asante sana kwa kuangalia video hii na kama unipenda tafadhali ipe thumb up na pia kumbuka kushare na watu wengine ili waweze kupata ujumbe huu huu. Lakini pia ningependa kusikia maoni yako juu ya topic hii ambayo tumezungumzia, tafadhali ipe comments hapo chini. Na kama wewe ni subscribe, tafadhali fanya hivyo. Make sure that you are subscribing. Hapa wakati mwingine, ciao.